Hello? My my internet didn't drop. Yay! <laughs> Congratulations. It's a success. But yeah, good game, sir. Thank you. Did you enjoy playing on maps that you rarely see? I was horrified. <laughs> <laughs> like, after game one, I think I was scarred. Oh, no. And uh, I retorted. Uh, in game two, I retorted with another Viva La Dirt League song, which was Eight Pool. Uh, <laughs> and it was great. Man, it's it's the pool that never gets any credit. I know. It's not yeah. as fast as a six pool, and it's not as... It's not as ten pull. Yeah, it doesn't. It can't come with speed. It, it, it is what it is. It's just a buttload of slowlings. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. Pretty much. A buttload. Yes. And it did turn out to be a great, the correct choice as uh, Uxie did go for that real fast nexus. But yeah. yeah, let's talk a little bit about game one in particular. So how did that? What happened there? It's just like I from just your perspective got wrecked. Got wrecked. I I was macroing. Uh, well, all my timings were thrown off because I accidentally left one drone out of gas for most of the game. Mm -hmm. So like my like my starting build order was just like screwed because I left the drone out of gas and I don't know. I think. I think I just, I just got everything really late. Like, 12 minutes was when I should have been maxed on roaches, but that was when I started building roaches. Ah. So, like, I, I, was, I don't know what happened. Just everything was late. And he came with four Colossus, and it was, I don't want to talk about the rest. <laughs> it was very scary. The rest is only <laughs> is confidential between me and my psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep. You're going to see that octopus thing on, on like, cat, <laughs> on, um, WCS now, and you're going to be all like, Ugh. no. <laughs> he, he shows ink, ink blots to me, and I see, like, a, I see, I see octopus, and I'm like, oh, Colossus, laser beams. <laughs> <laughs> Dead roaches. Everywhere. <laughs> Force fields. <laughs> no. Yeah. And yeah, overgrowth is pretty self explanatory. So, King Sejong Station. This game was pretty crazy. Like, a couple moments I, there, I was starting to wonder if you were going to make it through that. I, myself, I was terrified. See, I was trying to micro the lings to kill that one probe, and I was so happy that I did. But I was trying to micro the lings. And in that, I forgot to macro. So I looked back at my base, and then I saw that I had like 800 minerals. So I'm like, screw it, we're taking two bases. <laughs> and then I, I'm like, if it kills me, it kills me. And then, yeah, I decided four base was the plan. And then when I saw that one stalker, I'm like, oh, I'll just pick it off. I don't know what that stalker's doing out here. And then I saw this giant pink blob moving, along, <laughs> moving behind the stalker. Blob like, of doom. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> you, like, look away and, and you see it on the mini-map. It's just... And you're like, oh, no. And you only have one pylon, so I'm like, I gotta kill the pylon. Gotta kill the pylon. Sacrifice everything. And I did. And then, I don't know, I just... I, I guess I delayed for long enough to... Get I think that's, off of four bases. I was gonna say at that point he actually had two more pylons like right there. Yeah, I saw them. And I was uh, I was thinking, oh man. Wait, did he have those two there like when I went went to kill it? Yeah. There was oh, one on the high ground behind him and then there was so one. So it actually below. did nothing to help. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh but, but yeah, you managed to delay just long enough to get those sentries and just make the yeah, army considerably. I just out. wanted to build a lot of roaches. That was the plan. Yeah, uh, the the plan worked too. I particularly liked when you started pushing him back too. He was uh, he was not on the creep, but your roaches were, and I think that totally turned it around because he was trying to escape, and then he turned around to try and fight again after another warp in round, and the roaches on creep just kind of punched him in the face. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good indeed. So with that, um, I think we're pretty much done. As far as this series is concerned, any final comments from you, Case? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not proud. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm not proud at all. 
<laughs> it's okay. We have we have scrappy games. That was my first time eight pooling, and the only way I knew how to eight pool was by the v was by the Viva La Dirt League song. One build a spawning pool at eight pop. Two build an overlord at ten pop. Eight pool. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just thinking of that song in my head. I'm like, it's how it's gonna happen. It's how it's gonna happen. Excellent. And apparently, according to Tink, I'm a nerd. I meant to say that in my final comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. from Tink or such classic comments as raise your case or us give steps <laughs> give tall <room. laughs> and oh god case drones <laughs> dominate the hounds no steps tragedy <laughs> like a haiku <laughs> Almost. Yes. Now I'm like reading random comments of it. Dominate the hounds. Give steps. Tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> but alright guys, that, that does it for our first game for tonight. We have one more later in two hours, so, so come back and check that out. That'll be Andy Citizen vs. Pro. Their third one. Yep. Third game. Should be good. Best one of five. Of nice, rough. I'm sure both of them want to beat each other very badly at this point. <laughs> Yeah, there's one's uh... commenting on my no. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Excellent. So guess we'll we will... see you guys again in two hours. Two hours. Be here. Or don't be. Bye.